Blessed day, kings and queens. All right, so today we're going to be demonstrating how to make Simos gel. I took one of these packs from St. Lucia. Um, I bought them in St. Lucia. So the Simos that comes out of St. Lucia, especially the organic Simos, they smell very fresh because this is from the sea. Some of the Simos that you buy in the market up here in the U.S., they grow them in a pool, so they lose a lot of their potency. So it's not as, it does smell as fresh. Um, as you could see here, um, they give a list of the reasons why we should consume CMOS. It improves libido, it supports hair, skin, and nails, promotes good digestion, promotes healthy thyroid, help maintain a healthy weight because it suppresses your appetite. Supports a healthy heart, supports a healthy immune system, and it's great post-workout recovery tonic, improve metabolism, and CMOS, most importantly, contains 92 out of the 102 minerals the body needs. All right? So the directions they have on this here is wash and soak in lemon or lime water overnight. So you want to, when you open the packet, it smells very fresh. It smells very, very fresh, like I said, because it's from directly from the sea. They take it from the sea, they rinse it out, and they put it to dry, and then they package it. It's not grown in a swimming pool. It comes from the sea, so it smells fresh. I already soak a portion overnight. This is it here. And as you could see right here, I have it soaking in some lime water. The lime is to cut on the fresh, All right? So I rinse it out before I soak it. And then I squeeze some lime in the water and soak it overnight. So this has been soaking for approximately 12 hours. This is what it looks like now my next step is to rinse out throw this water rinse it out smell it see if it's still smelling fresh if not then we could go ahead and blend it in some fresh water uh, most likely all the salt is going to come out of it by now because it stayed overnight so we're going to rinse this out and I'm smelling the lime so that means most likely it's not going to be fresh no more. We could be, it's going to be ready to blend. I soaked it in room temperature water. Before I made the mistake and soak it in warm water. When you soak it in warm water, well, not even warm water, the water was hot. The previous time I did it, when you so, so this is trial and error until I get the actual the best results the first time i soaked it in hot water it was able to swell up faster because of the hot water but what happened is it still smelled fresh because i didn't leave it soaking long enough in the lime so we're gonna rinse this out now So it has a, I mean, it's not going to get rid of all the fresh smell, no, but it still smells like lime, so that's fine. We're going to rinse this out a little more, and then we're going to blend it to make our seamless gel. So it's very important you soak it in lime or lemon water lime or lemon water and you take a little piece to taste to see if it still has salt most likely this is not going to be salty no more no salt all right and you taste you taste the, the, the lime 
I use lime and lemon. If at this point, after the first soaking, you still find it's still salty and you still find it's still fresh, you could go ahead, rinse it out and just re-soak it. Soak it for another few hours. So ideally, you soak it overnight before you go to bed and you come in the morning, you check it out, you rinse it out. If you still need another soaking, you soak it before you go to work. And then when you come from work, you could go ahead and rinse it out once more and then blend it. But this is fine because I put the lime in it. So we're good to go to blend. This is good. And it lost the color. It lost all its color, which is fine. I don't care so much about the color. I'm not sure if it's the lime, because one time I did this, I, I soaked and I didn't put the lime. I soaked it for a very long time though, um, to get rid of the fresh smell. And it stayed, that's green sea moss. It stayed, well, I did purple and it stayed purple. So the green, I have not tried the purple yet with this method. This is the second time I'm doing the green and the green loses its color, which is fine. So you're gonna take this in a blender, slight, slight, slight smell, but what I'll do is I'm gonna squeeze some lime in here as well. That's what I'll do. I'll squeeze some lime in this. Yep. Make up a lime. Oh, my lime's over here. I have to do the work, so I gotta hurry. squeeze oh, these limes have no juice yeah I'm squeezing some lime in it because it still has a slight fresh smell the salt is all out, but it still has a slight fresh smell. And you will always find that again because it comes from the sea, directly from the sea. Let's get right there. Is more, a little more. All right, this is fine. I'm squeezing the line. That should be enough. After all, we're not making lime juice. That should be enough. Oh, where is. Oh, my son. Oh, look 
looking for a bottle of water. Add a bottle of water to it. And then we blend it. So you want to blend it until you get a smooth consistency and that will be it. Do I have any more mason jars? Uh, let's put it in. Some in this right here. So this is what you're going to end up with. And this is it. You want to store this in the fridge? Let me smell it. All right, not much fresh, which is usable. You want to store this in the fridge and then you're good to go. We have another jar here. And how do you consume this? You could use this to make your smoothies. You could blend some in your juice. You could just use some in your teas. Or you could just take a tablespoon or a teaspoon. It's, that's, the, that's the worst way to consume it because it doesn't have no taste. But you could just do it like that. Now this one, ah, because I put the lime in it, does have a lime citrus taste all right hot so this is how you make your seamless gel i put a little too much lime in there but once i make a smoothie with it i won't be tasting the lime as much right so you're gonna store this in the fridge it's gonna become hard and then you use a portion to put in your smoothie, in your teas, or you just take a teaspoon and have some. All right. This is Seamus gel. This was the green Seamus gel. Like I said, it, lo it lost its color. I'm not sure if it's because I added the lime. I'm going, I can't do that without lime. It's going to smell. And I have no more. I have more green. So I'm going to try it another time, but 
there's if you do it without the lime it's gonna smell you won't be able to take out the fresh smell without the lime all right this next pack i'm gonna try next time this is a packet of purple my light just went off the battery dead no yeah light went off so i'm gonna try this one the next time this is a packet of purple um the last time i did purple the time i gotta go to work the last time i did purple i ended up with this which had a slight purple color so i'm gonna try purple once more with this packet all right kings and queens bless it up make your simos like you say it's good for the body and according to him to them on this packet there it improves libido fellas for the pool supports hair skin and nails promotes good digestion promotes healthy thyroid this is very important the thyroid is a very important gland it stimulates your metabolism your moods your gain weight study the thyroid is very important it helps um cmos help maintain a healthy weight it supports a healthy heart supports healthy immune system it's a great post-workout recovery tonic it improves metabolism and contains 92 out of the 102 minerals the body needs right cmos use it all right digital bashment out today like a router flare